Well, good morning. I hope you are doing good. Um, today, we are going to start with statistics. We're going to start pretty much with, like I said, just some of the vocabulary that we're going to be using the entire semester, but it's a good idea to get this, this framework down. That way you know what I'm talking about and I know what you're talking about. Good morning. So, we'll start off with section 1.1. We're going to go kind of quickly through the first chapter because it's mostly just vocabulary. So if you're keeping track, we're on 1.1, just some key words. You see, in statistics, unlike a lot of other math, we have some unique words that we're going to talk about. See, gotcha. <laughs> yes. The first thing we're going to talk about, I'm going to talk about this a lot, is data. What, what do we mean by data? Do you guys know? Have you ever heard the word data before? Yeah, I love that guy. The, the Android guy. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Data, he's like the white skin, like totally helpful. He's the robot on Star Trek, like the next generation. <laughs> I am a dork, I don't care, whatever. When we talk about data in this class, really all we're talking about is observations. The information that we're collecting, whether it be uh, from people like you're giving a poll or scientific data, numbers, all the information that we collect is called data. So really it's just like our observations. So when we say data, what we mean are any observations that you have collected. sounds like that. I'm a little afraid, intimidated. So any observations that have been collected, that's what we're calling data. Now this class, what you're doing here, why this class is called statistics, is because what we do with this data is we collect it, we analyze it, we summarize it, we interpret it, the interpretation is very important for us, and we make decisions based on those interpretations. That's the class of statistics. That's what we're going to be doing in here. So we're taking this data, and we're going to do a whole bunch of stuff with it. And all the things that we do with it fall under the classification of statistics. So if you ever wondered, what in the world is statistics? Well, it's, it means this, this whole set of things we're doing to data. It means that we're, we're collecting it, which we just talked about. We're going to learn how to analyze it. Summarize it. Interpret it and draw conclusions from it. Because basically, if you go to your boss in the future and you say, hey boss, I just collected some data, and you haven't done any work on it, you're going to go, great. Listen. What's that mean for me? I really don't care. What we want to be able to do is get towards the latter part of this. Collecting it, great. That's where we're going to start. Analyzing it and summarizing it, that's going to be like chapters two and three. That's, that's good stuff to know. But what we want to get to is the next, next parts. These last two parts are like the framework for statistics. We want to interpret it. And most importantly, we want to draw conclusions from it. Collect, analyze, summarize, interpret, and draw conclusions from data. You see, data is pretty useless unless you can use it in your decision making process. Um, a lot of times people will go collect data and then not know what to do with it. All you have then is wasted time and useless information. If you can't do these things, collect it's important. You need to know how to get it, get it appropriately so you don't have biased data. I and mean, that's really important. We'll talk about that in a minute. But if you don't know how to do the rest of this junk, this part really doesn't matter. And the data itself really doesn't matter. Do you guys kind of get the point of that? You've got to be able to get here for this class to make any sense. And that's where we're going to get by the end. 
Okay, a couple of the words that we're going to be using. One of them is a population. Now, we talk about populations in, in real life all the time, right? The population of people in the United States is about 370 million people or something like that. That's everyone in the United States. And that's kind of what we're talking about when we say the word population. What we say, or what we mean when we say population, is the complete set of all elements to be studied. So that means like everything that belongs in the group you're looking at. So we can we can have a different kind of meaning for, for, for the things we're talking about. For example, the population of this classroom would be everyone in here right now. That would be the population. The population of this college, if we were talking about students at the college, would be everyone that's attending this college. Does that make sense to you? The population of uh, California, for example, would be everyone in California, but we wouldn't really be talking about those other people in Nevada or something. So population, it refers to all the elements, uh, or sorry, the complete set of elements that are being studied. Now answer this question. Do you think it's appropriate all the time to look at the entire population? Do you think people do that often? You can answer. Would it be viable to, like, you, you see polls like when we're going to have the next presidential election next year, right? Just over a year from now we'll have another election. You're going to see lots of polls, aren't you? Like polls, I mean, not like polls, I mean like they ask you what do you think and you say, oh, I think this person's going to win. And usually no one has any idea what they're talking about. Uh, but that type of poll, do they ask everyone in America what they think? Have you ever been asked for one of those polls? I haven't either. I don't know where they get those. Well, who has? Have you really? How do you get on that? Because I seriously want my opinion heard. <laughs> uh, but no, they don't go to everybody and say, what do you think? 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 They don't say that for every single person. In fact, in here, we have a lot of people. But we're, I'm not going to go around and ask every single person what they think about the president. What I would do is instead of talking about a population, I might consider a smaller subset, and, and that would be known as, what do you think? Have you ever heard that word before? Sample. A sample. A sample of people. A sample is generally smaller than a population. The population would be everybody. A sample would be one subset of that population. Do you guys get the idea between sample and population? Statistics generally deals with samples. Because populations are usually huge or too big for you to really get any information in a timely matter. So while we have populations, that's everybody, we also have these things called samples. And what this is is some subset of a population. It just means a smaller group. <clears throat> now, after just saying that about samples, are there ever times that you need to consider the entire population, like get a piece of information from everybody in the population? Now, there are times for that. In fact, we just had one last year. What was it called when they, they went to your house or you got a piece of mail and you filled it out and you sent it back in? That's when you consider the whole population. You guys said it. It's the census. So if we talk about the whole population, it's not really a sample. It's a census. So if we want to talk about an entire thing, census is what we're doing. Census is collecting from every member of a population. So we have some keywords. We have this stuff called data. That's just the information we're collecting. We've got statistics. That's really what we're, we're doing here is we're 
collect and analyze subrides and turbidity, and most importantly, drawing conclusions. We're not going to get to this part until like chapter eight. Like chapter eight. Population, we're talking about the whole group. Samples is a subset, and a census would be considered getting information from the whole group. How many people by show of hands feel all right with these, these words so far? I know it's pretty dry so far, we're just doing the vocab. Trust me, we're going to get more into it as time goes on. But right now, it's a lot of words. Okay, also, if you're going to take a sample, so that means you're not going to ask everybody in the population, you're going to go to a couple groups of people or one, one group of people and ask them what they think. Are you just going to go, let's say, let's say about an election for a president or something, because that's often when they do a lot of polls. So let's say the next time an election go, comes around, you want to figure out how you think the election is going to turn out. Are you going to go to just your friends and ask them? That might be an easy way to do it, right? Just ask them. But do you think it might be a little biased if you did that? Are you going to get, get a nice cross-section of America if all you do is go to your friends and ask them what they think? Do you think that's going to be a nice cross-section that includes all different points of view? Or is that just going to be a set of people who probably have similar interests that you do? What do you think? Same interest. Probably the same interest. Because I mean, my friends generally aren't completely different from me. They usually have my types of likes uh, or dislikes. And maybe the same is true for you. But if I just chose my friends out, what I know is that I'm not going to get people all across America that have different points of views and different reactions to certain things. What I'm trying to say here is that if we're going to take an appropriate sample, what we have to do is make sure that it is, there's a word for this, random. You can't pick out who you want to be in your sample. If I'm going to take a survey about something that's really important, I can't bias it in any way, which means I can't go to people who I think will answer the way I want them to and ask them questions. Do you get why? Do you get why? Yeah or no? What do you think? You can talk in here, don't worry. It doesn't really pick up your voice, it just picks up my voice. So, do you get why you can't do that? I mean, if you just went to people who you know they're going to answer a certain way, do you see how you could completely bias people's decisions on that? Like, if they were doing a presidential poll, and you went out to a very, let's say, uh, conservative population, and you said, hey, who do you think is going to win for president? And they go, oh, uh, Joe Schmo, the Republican, has got it in the bag. He's got this thing. And every person in that group answered the same way, or the same thing for, for Democrats, it wouldn't matter. Every person answered the same way, you're going to say, I know with a 90% certainty that Joe Schmo, the Republican, is going to be president. Do you think people who haven't voted yet might take that seriously? They probably would. They'd probably go in and go, oh, yeah, well, hey, if he's going to win, no one wants to vote for a loser, do they? No, that's, <laughs> seriously, though, I mean, so, seriously, people don't. People vote for the winner. And so if you were out there saying that, well, you know, Joe Schmo's got it. Joe Schmo's got it. He's going to win. You could actually bias uh, decisions that way, bias people's decisions. And that's not a good thing. So whenever we're collecting data, one of the most important things we can do is make sure it's random. So if you're going to collect a sample, or if you take a sample, it must be collected randomly. got to be collected randomly. Otherwise, it's going to have a bias to it. Maybe something you didn't even anticipate. <clears throat> now, we're going to talk about how we do this in a little bit. Uh, I think it's section 1.4 or something. Uh, but for right now, we're going to get into a couple other vocabulary words, and then hopefully we'll get to that by the end of our day today. <clears throat> the next thing we got to talk about is types of data you can collect. We do have words for these types of data. If you're going to get, or if you're talking about characteristics, we use a different word when we're talking about populations and when we're talking about samples. If you're talking about characteristics of a population, so you say all the people in the population, this is what we're implying on them, that's called a parameter. So when I say the word parameter,
what we're talking about is a characteristic of a population. Population parameter, you can think of it like uh, PP. Parameters go with populations. Not like PP, but you know. <laughs> Population parameter. The other thing, when we're talking about samples, that is the word we use for this class. A statistic. A statistic has to do with samples. So while a parameter is a characteristic of a population, a statistic is a characteristic of a sample. Population parameter, sample statistic. SS, PP, SS. Kind of clues you in on what's going on here. Now, don't get me wrong. These things could be talking about the same thing. It just depends on what group you're referring to. Okay? So if we're talking about hair, hair color, if you found out everybody's hair color in America, that would be a parameter. The parameter would be everybody is blonde or something like that. Uh, that would be a characteristic of the entire population took a sample and talked about those characteristics, then we just refer to them as statistics. They could mean the same thing, it's just what group you are referring to. Does this make sense to you? Raise your hand if it does. You feel okay with the difference between parameters and statistics. Which one is a population-based thing? Parameter or statistics? Parameter. Say it with me. Parameter. Actually, you said I'm going to say it. Gotcha. And which one goes with samples? That's what this class is based on. We're going to be mostly based in samples. Sample statistics. That's what we're going to be doing. Okay, so we got data, statistics, population is a whole group, sample is a small group. If we're talking about characteristics of populations, we're in parameters. If we're talking about characteristics of samples, we're talking about statistics. They, they, they're both characteristics. It's just what group you are referring to. Now we can move on to the types of data. 